last Friday, Treyards, the wonderful bean, the mod of my stream, recommended I do a furry species tier list for some reason. And for some reason, it sounds like a genius idea because I've got no other content to do and I do this every day. So I got to figure out something to do. Anyways, let's do a tier list. <laughs> I've seen a lot of polls and, and sort of like tier makers, like brackets created for what is the best persona species in the furry fandom. But that's all a matter of democracy. It's all a matter of the amount of votes it gets. Now nah, we're going with straight up my opinion because my opinion's the best opinion. Sarcasm, smile. <laughs> Just in case no one can read my emotion. I don't have my mood ring on. <laughs> We got a bunch of Fursona species here. Might as well go through them. Where's D tier? You're right, there is no D tier. Dick. All right, so we got the new tier list. Uh, I'll have to modify this tier list to eventually just be furry fandom only species, but for the sake of content, we'll go through all of them. Now, how would I rate each individual species? First off, I have to know what these species are. What the fuck is a cetacean? Citation? Am I going to get a citation from the officer that pulled me over for speeding? What about Caprines? I love Capri Suns, but that's not the same thing. Cetaceans are whales, dolphins, and porpoises. Oh, okay. So they're just like, you know, MLA format for Sona. <laughs> okay. okay. Listen. Y'all are rich. Before we just go out of order, let's go in order, okay? But first... I gotta make something that I promised because we talked about this tier list last time and I have to just, we're getting it over with. Red pandas are in S tier. There's no arguing it. There's the, there's no debating this. Red pandas are in S tier. I'm not a red panda persona. I don't have a red panda persona. I know a bunch of red panda friends who have personas that are red pandas. I don't actually know any red pandas. Granted, I've never seen one in real life. But the Waz are supreme. The Waz are the real winners. And 90% of them are in IT. Just saying. <laughs> anyway, so that's easy and done with. Red pandas are S tier. I've seen multiple polls online where red pandas are the superior furry fandom species. I don't know why. But honestly, red pandas are just adorable. I haven't seen a red panda? No, it's kind of sad. But either way, let's go on with the rest of this list. Uh, what the fuck is this? I can't even read that. Bird. <laughs> is that the easiest way to describe? Is it just bird personas? What the fuck is this? Acipitridae. I love acid. Don't take acid. <laughs> I, I haven't taken acid, fun fact. Uh, I'm assuming this is just any sort of air-based animal like a bird like the babylon rogues from sonic uh bird personas i don't know where to put you i don't know that many bird personas besides adler the eagle predatory birds oh predatory birds okay that's what they are Aceptator, Aceptator die. yeah Adler the Eagle in A tier. Very good. Honestly, I don't really know where to put birds. I haven't seen too many bird personas. And granted, I'm not really putting in the mesh of, uh, of uh, like, bird fursuits either. Like, I'm just going strict fursonas. Because basing it off of just fursuits isn't really fair. Also, this is a matter of opinion. Also, announcement for everyone. Just because I put you in a certain tier doesn't mean I like you any more or any less. Please do not take what I am putting here in this tier list as a personal attack on you, the person, or your fursona. This is just my opinion of what I think are my, the, the, the fursonas or species that I like. It doesn't mean I like you any less. Okay, there's, just spoilers, none of these are going in F tier. N none of these are going in F tier because I like all of them in creativity. Before anyone goes to cancel me on Twitter, there we go. Just had to announce that. Just in case. I mean, worst case, you get put in the dick tier, which I guess is more of a compliment than being put in S tier. You know, it's like, hey, I think these personas are hot. Because 90% of them are. Classic disclaimer, look, I have to. You know how people on the internet are and get butthurt over things that don't involve them. 
I can guarantee some random, like, some random bird for someone is going to be upset that I didn't put them in S tier. I can guarantee that exists and someone like that will exist. So, just thought I'd announce that. Let's go on with our tier list. Aliens. So is this like Lilo and Stitch aliens or like the Xenomorph alien? Like tongue, animal, creature, like open to interpretation? I don't really know any alien personas. Granted, they look really cool. Like the, the icon for this one looks really cool. I'm going to put in the dick tier because I think most aliens are kind of hot. Like Xenomorph, that was really scary, but really hot. What are some other examples of, like, anthropomorphized aliens? Any alien personas? Amicus is an alien in theory. In theory, you are correct. Amicus is hot. Therefore, correct. Garrus, oh my fucking god. I have so many things to say about Garrus that I can't even disclose on this live stream. I... Mm, Dick tier, you are correct. Predator from Alien vs. Predator or just Predator in general? Yes, that too. So you know what? Aliens are in the dick tier. Look, you can't, you can't tempt me with Garrus from Mass Effect. You can't, whew. whew. I, look, you can't do that to me. You can't do that to me on this live stream. I have personally, I, I have purposely chosen the female character just so I can get my shenanigans on with Garrus later in the game. I've reset my game just so I can do it. Just when I realized I could romance Garrus, there was no stopping me. So just so you know, aliens should really be in a tier above this, but that doesn't exist, so we're keeping in the dick tier. Apes. I haven't seen that many ape personas. We're like, are apes and gorillas the same? I don't know anything about the animal kingdom, so I'm just asking you guys. I really should have Dr. Wildlife on this stream with me. She would know everything about this. Ape personas, I haven't seen, like, any. Give me some examples, if you guys can. Like, sell me on ape personas if there are any. And I'm not talking about, like in media. Gorillas are genus. Gorillas, orangutans, apes. Okay, so they're all in the same genus? No ape persona because NFTs. Look, NFTs ruin everything. We're not letting them ruin personas, okay? I can only imagine the amount of ape personas or gorilla or orangutan personas that were just like, oh, now I feel awful because fucking crypto bros are ruining it. Honestly, for that, I haven't seen any. Well, I'm gonna put them in A tier. Because they've been through the shitter with the fucking crypto bros and the, the ape guru, the ape family, whatever it is. They've been through all of that shit and they're still here. So for those of you that have ape and gorilla and orangutan personas, anything in that genus or family, I can't remember which one it was. Kudos to you. Kudos to you. You've been through a lot and you're still pushing on. That's why I'm putting you in A tier. Next up. A volley. Oh boy, the species that I haven't done a video on yet. I have that lined up, just so you know. Spoilers for those that like the furry fandom species series. A volley video coming soon, just haven't done it. Um, so this is the first one in our furry fandom only species, like a completely fictional species. It kind of lines up somewhat with the alien species, because it is technically... I, I, I still don't know what a volley are. Like, I've read over the lore over and over, and I don't know what it is. But they came from Spore, which was pretty cool. So, uh, you know, I'm gonna put them in B tier. I need to know a bit more about them. I can't really put them in the... I, I can't really... I don't really understand them. But, they're pretty cool, and they made it into Spore, so that's pretty cool. Either way. I like it. They seem akin to prehistoric birds, sort of. Yeah, it's kind of neat. I like them. I'm gonna put them in B tier. I like them. They're pretty neat. They're pretty fucking cool. Anyways, bats. Oh, oh, you look. Hold on. I'm putting this here for a second. Just look at this image, which is pretty fair. I was going to put you in B for bats. So, hey, you know what? A tier. You win. Bat sonas, though, look. I might be biased, but my friend Ruckus, Ruckus the bat, I fucking love him. I love him to death. You've seen me at furry conventions, pictures that I've taken with him. You've seen me get hugs from him. Let me just say, bats give the best hugs. There's, there's no contesting it. Bat fursonas and bat fursuiters give the best hugs. There's just, there's, there's no, you can't argue that. Because they already have a blanket on them. They're like wings, you know, their wingspan. They like give you a hug. They're giving you a hug, but you're like uh, in a burrito. You're getting like a burrito hug. You win. 
You give the best hugs. If you are a bad persona, you win. I already want a hug from you. And please, dear God, give me a hug. Like, every time, like, I've hugged Ruckus, it has been, like, the best hug I've gotten in my life. Because it's a blanket, you're in a burrito, you're getting hugs, and it's like you're getting you're, you're getting cuddles at the same time, but you're wrapped in a blanket. It's like, oh my god. Why couldn't that be me? What have I been missing out on? Anyways, bear personas. Oh my god, yes. Okay, this... I don't think we need to explain why. I don't think we need to explain why bears are in S tier. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't think we need any more explanation. You could you could list any reason under the sun and it would be a right reason. Bear is just existing, just mm, mm. the tum. The tum. Just any anything. Anything about bears, I love them. They can be himbos, they're big, they're cuddly, they can be ferocious and fierce, they can defend you. They're, they're just like, look, as someone who is a bottom, I'm I'm definitely, like, absolutely for bear personas, okay? That has nothing to do with it, but bears are great, okay? Actually, red pandas? Aren't they, aren't pandas somewhat like bears? Are they somewhat related in the animal kingdom? I, do, I really don't know. I don't know anything about animals, so that's why I'm asking it. Like, panda bears? This somewhat similar to regular bears? I don't know. Sorta? Pandas are bears. They are... Look, I... This is getting me as asking Twitch chat instead of me looking it up. So I do apologize. So I'm going to leave it up to assumption. But still, on that point, on that basis, it could be argued that bears and red pandas should be in S tier. So there you go. So are raccoons. Raccoons are bears? How does that work? Well, either way, I was going to put raccoons in s tier regardless because raccoons are just cool they're just cool for sonas they're just cool animals and either way we're getting on to it bees bee for sonas are fucking beautiful let me just say that if it weren't for ivy comb i wouldn't be sold on bee for sonas because i haven't seen that many i've only seen like one or two ever also, yeah, you're, you're right, Star, because I'm getting memories from Bioshock with the fucking bee. What was it? What was the ability? What was it called? Whatever. You could shoot bees out of your hands. It's kind of fucking weird. If you had a, if you had that weird phobia of holes, you'd hate that game. But yeah, uh, point being, bees. Yeah, A tier. Ivy Ivy Comb has sold me on B for Sonas. He is so his B Sona is so fucking precious. I can't uh, like. He's so goddamn precious, I can't even... Mm, like, that's it. That's it. I'm sold. B for Sonas are great. A tier. Easy. Moving on. Bovines. Oh. So is this like... What are bovines? Ox, minotaur, cattle, bulls, cows. Oh, so like cow for Sona. Horsemen, like cows. Minotaur. Oh, I'm thinking about... Thinking about the minotaur from Hades now. Oh, he's so hot. Ah! I think I'm going to keep it in B tier. It's got to be somewhere between, like, A tier and D tier, and I think B tier is it. D tier as in hot. Because honestly, half the bovine for sodas I've seen, it's got to be a crime that you're this good looking. I'm just saying. Asterius is hot, yes. So cow, buffalo, cattle, minotaur, like, oh my god. You win. You win. You win. I'm putting you in B tier because I, I, I want... I want to put you in A tier, but at the same time, I want to put you in D tier. So B tier is it. That's why you're in B tier. Caprines. I love Capri Sun. What is a Caprine again? Is it like goat fursonas? Like ba? Like sheep. Goats. Okay, so that's what Caprines are. Oh, it's like, is that like Capricorn? Like Capricorn I've seen have like, a, is like a symbol similar to like goats or like swirly horns. Is that the same thing? Is it is there correlation there? Or am, am I an idiot? Or just Capri Sun? I believe so. Respect the look, Capri Sun. I love Capri Sun, but I also wish they weren't as expensive, so it goes in B tier. I don't know what that has to do with goat and sheep personas. I still put them in B tier. Mosfet and Jfet, they're goats. They're ba personas. I love them. I love them to death. I love them to death. What flavor, though? Ch the fucking tropical fruit punch? Are you kidding me? Speaking of antlers, caribou. I'm gonna be honest with y'all. You might hate me for this. They're in S tier. I'm sorry. I've been sold. I was... 
I know we did the Deer Fasona back in December with Deer Sember like a year ago and more like two years ago. I was tempted to do it again because God, I love Deer Fasonas. Deer are they're beautiful. They're great. I know so many friends that are Deer Fasonas and just the bleat. Bleat! They don't actually bleat. It's not the sound that they make. It's more like wee, wee, like that. I don't know why I'm making the sound of deer. But I'm just saying. Deer fursonas, I'm, I'm sorry, just, they're, they're beautiful. They're great. I say that and they do some really weird shit. Like, I, I don't know, whatever deer do that are kind of crazy. Like they just run through a glass window in like a, in a 24-7, 7-Eleven. Yeah, deer are fucking weird. They're great. They're, they're like magnificent. They're beautiful creatures. And then they do shit like that. I love that. I love that energy. It's crazy. It's good crazy. Moving on, cats. I'm putting them in an S tier because they rule the world. If cats wanted to, they could take over the world. That's it. That's the. There's nothing else. I'm putting them in S tier because you remember with Feline February, they can take over the world. They have the same amount of crackhead energy as deers do. But at the same time, they're so conniving. They're always plotting against you. That's what cats do. Cats do that. You know, as a, I'm going to, one of these days, I might be a cat owner. And I'm probably going to be, like, asking Twitter, like, why the fuck is my cat sitting in my bathtub? He's just sitting there. What is he doing? Why is he there? And then you're going to be like, oh, yeah, cats do that. They're normal. They're fucking weird. Okay? They're going to take over the world. Citations or citation. Uh, whales. Dolphins. Any other animal that mixes in with this. Oh, yeah, orcas. So whales, orcas, dolphins. Sit. Do manatees count? Either way, I know you're going to fight me on this. I'm putting them in the dick tier. Why? Because the only time I've seen dolphin in like whale personas is when they're buff as fuck and they're ready to... Yeah. Like they're in the same tier as like hot. Not because they're bad. I'm not saying they're bad. They're not bad at all. I love whale personas. Again, tier above S tier. Most of the time, whenever I see Orca personas, they are fucking jacked, and they are the hottest fucking things in the room. I swear, like, it's every time. Every time they are. And I don't get it. I think it's just an aesthetic thing. I, don't, I, don't, I really don't get them. But at the same time, they're good. They belong above S tier. That's where the dick tier is. That's where, uh, that, that's where the whale and dolphin personas are going. The cetaceans. <laughs> Next up, cheetahs. You know, I haven't seen too many cheetah personas. I put them in with the S tier cats, but cats are on a different level. It doesn't necessarily, you can be a cat, but you can't be a cheetah. Chad can also not be a cheetah. Hmm, honestly, I'm gonna put them in A tier. I really don't have much to say about cheetah personas besides the joke about them being fast or just fast in general. They're speedy boys. Corvids, what are corvids? Is it a different species of like bird personas? Like crows? What is a corvid? I need some explanation. Okay, so they're boards. They're other birds. They're like birds that like resemble or, or somewhat symbolize death and like sadness and depression. Isn't that like most of what media like shows them as like, oh, if crows are there, then something bad's gonna happen. Something edgy. They're not bad. They're still cool. I think ravens are cool. Ravens are assholes though. Like ravens are not like, I'm not saying raven personas like, if you're a raven, you're not an asshole. Like, I'm saying more like ravens as in the animals. They're kind of fucking mean. <laughs> ravens are kind of not nice. Crows are cool, though. Murder of Crows in Bioshock was cool. I'm gonna put them in B tier. They're birds. They're pretty cool. Ravens are assholes. Also, crows are incredibly smart. That's kind of really fucking weird to think about, but they are incredibly smart. Either way, moving on. Coyotes. Oh, boy. What do coyotes do? I know everyone loves coyotes. I love coyotes. But why? What do they do? They're everywhere. They kind of just exist. They yell really loud. You know, I you're going to hate me for this. I'm only going to put it in A tier. They're great. It's, uh, yeah, only A tier. Wow, beta. Second to highest tier. Seriously? They're great. I love them. I love the design of them. All my, like, coyote friends, they're pretty cool. But what do coyotes do? Meanwhile, I'm going to skip something in the list. Hyenas. S tier. S tier persona. Look at that face. He's bashful as fuck. I love hyenas. It's entirely biased, but hyenas are fantastic. Okay? They, there is so much that they can do. You don't even know. They're great. I love hyenas. They're so fucking adorable. I want to pet them. I want to pet them. 
I want to pet a hyena so bad. But I haven't been able to yet. Hyenas are cute as fuck. And they're hot as fuck. Coyotes are also hot as fuck. As in the fursona. Let me specify, okay? Just before you say anything. Hyena fursonas and coyote fursonas are hot as fuck. But hyenas... Yeah, they're... Yeah, they're kind of better. Sorry, not sorry. Uh, next up, though. Crocodilians. Crocodiles? Why crocodilians? Why is he giving me that look? I'm gonna put him in D tier. For dick tier. All crocodile fursonas end up looking hot somehow. I don't understand. Is it like a scaly thing? I just kind of realized. Is it a scaly thing? Where for some reason they look just attractive. Like more attractive. More like hot. Than other fursona species. I don't get it. What's, is it just a, I don't mean to lump them in with scalies, but like, God, they're always so hot. The fursonas. God. I don't think there's much else to say. Besides that they're great. They're like the highest on the food pyramid, so they just have confident energy. True. I mean, they, they, they have justified confident energy. They have justified big dick energy. They don't, they don't need to prove it. They just have it. That's why they're in the, yep, hot tier. Actually, we should probably change this. Instead of dick tier, it's... Yup. Hot. Just to, just to clarify, because people are gonna look at the D tier and be like, Wait a minute, they suck, they're bad? No. My tier lists just make absolutely no sense. Moving on. Ooh, deer for... Okay, look it, look. I thought deer and caribou were, like, the same. They're somewhat the same. Yeah, you already know. It's going in S tier. We talked about deer personas. Caribou personas are the same as well. S tier. Love them. Caribou are reindeer? Well, they have deer in the name. It still works. Dinosaurs. This is tricky because if we're going off the basis of like, you know, the scaly thing of like, yeah, I've seen a lot of really hot dinosaur personas, but at the same time, B tier. B tier. I wouldn't necessarily put it in the hot tier because I've seen some really cute... And just chill dinosaur personas and dinosaur characters. So I'm putting in B tier. Same thing as like the bovines and the, the goat personas. Like bovines especially. I can't put you in S tier. I, I want to put you in S tier, but I want to put you in yep hot tier, but I'm just going to leave you there. Put you in B tier. So dinosaurs and bovines, I'm putting in B tier for that. Both my personas in B tier. Look, there's nothing wrong with that. They're good personas. I personally love all these different animal species, but like, seriously? Like... God, the way I do tier lists is so weird. It's like nothing's probably going to be in C tier or F tier. That, that just that just goes. I love the animal species that people come up with for their fursonas or anthropomorphic characters. So we get that. I don't need to explain it. Dogs? So just dogs in general. So like huskies are... Yep. So I'm pretending dogs are huskies. So that's S tier. I think dogs theoretically could take over the fandom. If not, they already have. In terms of animals or species personas whatever dog personas adorable they're adorable i love huskies i love huskies that's another thing if i couldn't be a hyena or an aussie shepherd g-shep granted i am a dog persona personal bias personal bias yeah s tier dogs are great dogs and cats secretly have an alliance they secretly have like an alliance to take control of the furry fandom it's kind of neat i dig it dragons Yep, hot. Yep, hot. <laughs> Literally 90% of dragon fursonas. Wait, shouldn't I just, you know what? For the sake of not confusing everyone, let's just do this. Let's just do this. There you go. This makes a lot more sense. Also, it doesn't mean that B tier is the worst, by the way. There is no worst. Again, I'm, I'm so fearful of like the backlash that I'll receive from this because people are, I don't know, hateful? Wanting to make issues? Foxes, S tier. That's just easy. See, now we're getting to the easy ones. We don't need to explain why foxes are in S tier. They just are. Yeah. Furred dragons. Why is there a difference? I'm putting them with dragons. They're still hot. <laughs> I mean, they can be cute in S tier, but you know... <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> I'm still putting them in S tier. Dragon or not, it's a dragon. Furred dragons... Still dragons. Moving on. Griffins. I'm gonna put them in A tier alongside like the Falcons and the... Those personas. They're good looking. Okay, they're very gorgeous. A, lo a lot of times when I see Griffin personas, they're just gorgeous. They look good. I'm still gonna put them in A tier. I think they look great. Horses. I don't think I have a choice. I like horse personas. <laughs> Kangaroo personas. 
I love root for Sonas. I'm putting them in eight tier. I don't know why. I just, I, I like kangaroo for Sonas. I'm putting them in eight. They're cute. They're adorable. I love them. They can beat people up with their feet. Isn't that cool? Or pause. Sorry. Difference. Kangaroo Sonas are awesome. I do agree. Moving on. Kobolds. Okay, they are different from dragon personas, but they are dragons, but they're not. But they are. But they're their own thing. I'm gonna keep them in B tier. I haven't seen too many kobold personas or characters besides the kobold I play D&D &D with, Oi, who's always getting me shot somehow. I do love Oi, though. Still, B tier. Pretty good. I feel like we could just cut off C and F tier at this point because I don't think anything's gonna be there. I think it's just a basis of, like, how much I like more personas than others. Is it just a joke? I mean, still, it's a... It's a pretty commonly used joke, too, so you, you have that. Lemurs. I haven't seen too many lemur personas, but I do like them. I like the design. B tier. Leopards. A tier. Why? I don't know. Lions. S tier, though. Let's be real. Let's be real. If we're prioritizing different cat species here, cats are up. Lions are also up there, too. Wait, do leopards have, like, the fangs? Like, the teeth? Like, the chompers? The toofs? I, I don't know. Which one? Do they? Do snips have, like, the fangs? Or was it saber tooth? Saber tooth tigers and leopards are different. Either way, leopards. A tier, lions S tier. Sorry, not sorry. Lizards. Personally, B tier. They're pretty cool. I haven't seen too many just lizard personas. Whenever I think of trademark lizard persona, I think of Spockter. <laughs> and he's a pretty cool looking persona. But he's a dinosaur though, his blue one. He's also... What is he again? <laughs> I forgot! <laughs> oh, oh my god. Going on that route though, I'm gonna put snakes in B tier as well. I think that's pretty fitting. Lizards and snakes, I know they're separate. I understand that, I understand. Snack for Sonas are cute, okay? I'm still gonna put them in B tier, I like them. Lynxes. I'm gonna put them alongside Leopards in A tier. I think they're very pretty kitties. Very pretty kitties. Maned, yes, yes. Maned Wolves, yes. That, that, that's it. Moving on, Mice for Sonas. I haven't seen too many Mouse for Sonas, but I think they're pretty cool. It's kind of ironic that I put them alongside the Snake for Sonas too. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, you two go have fun. <laughs> Either way, mice personas, I dig them. Monkey personas. This is a weird example for a monkey persona because I've seen some really cool looking monkey personas that people have made. I'm going to put in an H here. For example, Beta Monkey. Oh my god, I fucking love him. He's great. But yeah, monkey personas, pretty fucking creative, let me just say. There's a comic with a snake and a mouse, and there are a couple. It's kind of ironic. Again, like I said, ironic that I placed them next to each other. Because, you know, one's predator and one's prey in the animal kingdom, quite literally. Ooh, moth personas. Honestly, though, underrated as fuck. I haven't seen too many moth personas or too many moth anthropomorphic characters, but they are usually either beautiful or, like, the most chaotic, funny shit I've ever seen. It's like, ah, uh, light, lamp, lamp. I don't think too many of them do that. But at the same time, if we're thinking about... Moth personas or characters? Sabathun. That's a pretty cool looking design. Mustelidae. Mustelidae. I think we've been over this. I think they're pretty neat. I think they're pretty neat. B tier. Otters? Yep. 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 We win. We take those. I know there's no difference between those two. You know, I'll make you happy. I'll put them in A tier. Otters are fucking precious. I love otters to death. Owl personas. I'm gonna put them in A tier. I think owls are really fucking cool. I haven't personally seen any owl personas, but I think they're really fucking cool. I think owls in general are just cool. But owl anthropomorphic characters, really, really cool. Really underrated in my opinion. Hooters? Of all the fucking examples you can think of, you think of Hooters? Oh my god. I hate it. Why would you... <laughs> Of all things, you choose Hooters? Oh my god. Oh my god. See, this is why when you can't have nice things. Whatever. Either way. Alphersona is pretty cool. Parrots. I put them alongside griffins and 
Astridai and uh, Espitridae and Griffin. Yeah, I put them alongside that. I think they're pretty cool. I think they're pretty cool. I haven't seen too many Parafersonas, but again, I don't know where else to put them. Possums. Possums are pretty neat. I think they're in S tier. I don't have anything to like explain about it. I just think they're neat. Honestly, I just think certain personas or animals are neat or more neater, neater than others. They're like up there with like raccoon personas. I don't know why. I dig them. I think they're neat personas. I remember seeing like a video of like a mother possum carrying a, a, the other baby possums on her. And it was just the cutest fucking thing. Some people in chat were just like, ew, gross. I'm like, what the fuck? That is so adorable. That's so cute. You got the mama possum and then just the other ones hanging on to her. It's so cute. I love them. Protogens. Okay. So contrary to my current bias and stigmatism and sort of jadedness towards children with protogen personas and whatever, it's mainly just my jadedness towards children on the internet. Uh, point being, I still think protogens are cool. I think protogens are cool for sonas. No, I don't hate them. No, I don't have them banned in my chat anymore. Chat, you can say protogen and whatever. Just like, you know, time and place for things. You know, not everything is needs to have a toaster joke. You know, when I'm talking about how my, you know, my, my grandmother, you know, isn't doing well or whatnot. It's not time to talk about your protogen persona. That's another little rant about internet etiquette that a lot of children don't understand. But that's where sort of my stigmatism and jadedness towards the species can sometimes be. The point being, I still think they're cool. I still think they're a good starting Sona, at least in, in terms of bridging the gap between you and the furry fan. I think they're pretty neat. They're pretty sci-fi-esque personas, and I think they're neat. I think they're cool. Protogens are cool. End of story. Rabbits. Are they the same thing as bunnies here? I guess rabbits and bunnies are in this case the same, but they're not. According to this tier list, I'm gonna put them in A tier. I love Banuis. They are the same. Are they the same? Rabbits and bunnies aren't the same, are they? I thought they were significantly different. I thought they were different for certain reasons. I'm kind of pissed. Rabbits are grown, but are you fucking kidding me? For all my life? I've been told that bunnies and rabbits are different. I hate everything. Well, I learned something new today. They're still in A tier. I think they're pretty neat. I think rabbits and banuis are neat. Even though they're the same, apparently. Ooh, raccoon personas. Well, that's easy. S tier. Raccoons are cool. I think they're neat. Next up, Sergals. Another furry fandom species. I'm going to put them in B tier. I think they're neat. I think they're neat. What even is a Sergal? Uh, I have a video explaining it. Fun fact. <laughs> I did a video about them. I think they're kind of neat. Not kind of. I think they are. Uh, next up, shark personas. Are mano kits on here? Or would we lump mano kits in with this? I think shark personas are really cool. I think they're really creative. I've seen too little shark personas, so I'm putting them in an A tier. I think they're neat. I'm putting them in A tier. Everyone that I've seen is a pretty good design. Skunk personas, S tier. Skunk personas are great. You can't convince me otherwise. Squirrel personas. I haven't seen them before, but I'll put them in B tier. I think they're neat too. I mean, I think all these are neat. This is just more, again, personal preference of the type of persona or animal that I like more than others. Like, yeah, I like skunks more than squirrels, but it doesn't mean I hate you, you know, if you're a squirrel persona. But yeah, either way, we're just getting to the point where it's like, huh, I like this more than I like this. I don't really know what other explanation to give besides I just, I think one's more neat than the other. But it doesn't mean I hate the other one. There was a tweet put out earlier in the year about like how people interpret even just a simple sentence on Twitter to be something else. Like for example, like if I tweeted, I love pancakes, someone would reply then, oh, so you hate waffles? It's like, no, bro, that's an entirely different sentence. What the fuck are you? Like exactly, you know what I mean? Like when you say you like one thing, people are like, oh, so you don't like the other? Like this is an example of it. Like, oh, so you don't like squirrel personas that much? Oh, oh, oh okay, okay, like, dude. Don't take my opinion too highly. It's a tier list. If you don't like it, make your own. It's a free website. Tier maker. Tigers. Uh, absolutely, yes. I think tigers are great. Tigers are great for Sonas. 
I love the stripes and the design and the colors a lot of the times. They're beautiful. Love them. Wolves. Yep, hot. I, I think that's just, yeah. I mean, we already have mained wolves there, so, you know. Wolves, wolf personas. Yep, hot. Wolves take over the fandom. You know, like foxes do. But I do prefer wolves, just saying. I prefer wolves over foxes. Sorry, not sorry. African wild dogs. I think they're pretty neat. I think I, I think odds oddies. I think that's what they call them. Oddies. They're pretty cute. I like the big round ears. They're cute. I dig it. Badgers. Don't they belong with mustelidae? Aren't they the same family? Mustelidae. Mustelidae. Badgers. They're like the same family, right? Either way, put them in A tier. I think they're neat. Boars. Oh, I thought that said bears at first. I think boars and bears are in the same. Boars are dad bod central. Oh, absolutely. I put them alongside bears. Not in the sense that they're the same animal or species. I just think they're good looking. I think they're borderline in the yup hot territory. Next up, cougars. Cougars. Probably an A tier. I think they're neat. I think they're cool. I've seen a lot of cougar personas and they're really, really cool. Elephants? I haven't seen too many elephant characters or personas. Put them in B tier. I think they're pretty cool. I think if they, I think if I saw more of them, they'd be pretty fucking cool. Anyways, next up, meerkats. Uh, probably B tier. About the same. Rhinos? Yep, hot. You convinced me with the picture. Uh, sh wait, what is this? Songbirds? Songbirds? Yeah, I'll put it with other birds. I think we're about done with this tier list in terms of animals i think we've gone over yeah there's only a few more left wait what the fuck is this viviridae viviridae what are these i have no fucking clue what is a viviridae mongooses i've never seen a mongoose an actual mongoose in my life i'm gonna put it yeah i'll keep it in beats here i don't i don't i really don't know i i don't know what a mongoose is i'm sorry viviridae so i'm gonna put it there because it looks cute. They look cute. Give it that. Donkey personas. B e tier as well. Ooh, I saw Phoenix and got happy. S tier. I think Phoenix are great. Phoenix are highly underrated. Highly underrated. Phoenix are great. I know they're foxes. Yeah, part of the fox family. Whatever. They're still neat. You can't convince me otherwise. Giraffes! I don't think any explanation is needed for that. I don't think any explanation is needed for that. Wyverns. I those are the same thing as kind of dragons in the sense they're kind of the same. I'm gonna put them alongside dragons. Because wyverns and dragons are about the same. Zebra fursonas, A tier. And then rats, I think B tier. All right, we did it. Look at that. No nothing's in a C or F tier for a fursona species. Look at that, we did a good job. This is how I would rate the different Persona species in the fandom, or anthropomorphic species. I know there are a few more that we haven't added in, like uh, Mano Kits, probably around the same as like Shark Personas. Uh, but overall, it's a good basis for kind of Persona species I enjoy. 